one, two. Okay, uh, here we are, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Goldie. Welcome to Live at the Beehive. And uh, it's the reenaction of what I've been trying to do since the birth of uh, the whole time we spent in the houses at COVID and whatnot. We've had uh, roadside concerts. We've had Live at the Beehive at my house. Well, I've been a little antsy lately, and I've been wanting to do a Live at the Beehive uh, back up to a position where I brought a band. It was around September last year, and if you can remember, 2021 summer was a blazer in Colorado. It was like 99 plus every day, no humidity, just complete burner. And the day we chose to go up to Cameron Pass, which is where we're headed, and I'll explain more, um, literally was the day all storms that had saved themselves up for the summer came out in one. We're talking hail, tornado, snow rain it was everything so we ended up doing that show in my house and uh, leaving this particular spot that I've always wanted to do um, untouched well until today so uh, we are headed up to Cameron Pass Highway 14 Fort Collins Colorado the mountain canyon that is just due west of town the spot that we're going to is sort of one of like the the epic spots that anyone in the world if they drove this canyon would say oh my god pull over we got to take a picture right yeah so it's the crags on the west side the noku crags on the west side of cameron pass where basically it's like uh the beginning of rocky mountain national forest on the west side and it's just like Rawr! and these rocks are coming out and it's massive it's amazing and that's where we're heading today because why the f not uh so you guys already know who i am but let's bring it downstream to my talent in house uh mr michael kirkpatrick in the house and uh oh, yeah. michael uh great to have you i guess you could say in the studio this is a beautiful studio i appreciate it uh, right now you know as a matter of fact i don't want to well i don't want to lose due but i want to pay homage to our driver nick Nicholas, who is up front right now, I don't know if he's uh, really in the mood to like take his hand off the wheel right now. He's, he's, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's navigating the narrows. Yeah, and if it wasn't for Nicholas today, we wouldn't have this amazing opportunity we have right now. So, uh, Michael in the house, we got on the internet we started jib jabbing left and right hey you want to do some recordings the answers was yes but time is always of the essence of saying hey when can we do these things you know mm -hmm. can the band get together can can we really do this well in those considerations those chats we ended up talking about um we talked about your solo projects that you've been up to so uh let me ask you the question who are you what solo projects are you up to? What music are you giving us? What just give us the Michael Kirkpatrick wrap up in the, in your beautiful elevator speech? Okay, I am Michael Kirkpatrick. I'm a Colorado singer songwriter, and I play guitar and mandolin. And I'm probably going to play a little bit of both today, depending on how it goes. Sounds good to me. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and you've been, when did you pick up your first guitar? Oh, man. Well, my dad had an acoustic guitar in the house since as long as I could remember. 
probably started messing with it when I was five. Yeah. Um, my hands were small back then. Yeah. Things have changed, you're saying? <laughs> Things have changed. <laughs> and, um, and then my first guitar, I, I must have been 12, 11 or 12 when I really started playing. And then my first lessons were probably 13. Got it. Got yeah. it. So then that's when it all took held. And, um, you know, I can remember back when when uh, I got started in like the performing arts, I was Santa Claus fifth grade on the, you know, the Santa Claus play that you put on with your elementary hilarious things went down i got tackled by the entire crew on stage uh <laughs> lost my beard i had to play it off everybody laughed we had a good time it was a lot of fun and it's sort of like a moment like that that made me go that might have been the kickstarter when i started thinking performing arts is actually something i really enjoy doing oh, yeah. uh so 13 take us when you were 13 years old well i mean it, the actually wanting to perform might have happened a little earlier my parents always took me to concerts um i think my first concerts when i was five was uh during the steve miller band abracadabra tour yeah uh, and then i saw eddie rabbit at the puyallup fair in uh, washington state and i thought he was pretty cool um and uh i so i've always been interested in singing songwriting and that sort of thing um but i think it was probably when i was 19 and I got to see Tom Petty in the Heartbreakers oh, yeah. is when I was like, you know, this guy's giving me chills right now. And um, I felt like as a teenager, well, no, wait, I must have been 16. Sure. Yeah. Well, I won't hold you to it. I age. think the rock and roll saved my life. It got me through my awkward teenage years yeah yeah and, uh, gave you a tool yeah. it's, it's kind of like when you go and you watch the uh star wars movie and you know you see all the lasers and the this lifesavers or whatever they're called and you, and then when you go home you're like you play star wars by yourself in your underwear you like grab a broomstick and you're like whew, 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 you know so maybe it's exactly the same thing with like music that. right <laughs> yeah yeah you stand in front of the mirror in your underwear and your guitar and whew, whew, whew. i'm gonna sound just like that guy yeah, yeah totally yeah. well that's rad um <laughs> good backstory nice to know who we have in the van yeah. uh you know it gets a little awkward if i just start inviting weird dudes with guitars in my van <laughs> i mean the festival vibe in here is pretty legit but uh i'm really a huge fan of where we're heading right now top of camera pass one of my favorite places in the world it's a pretty yeah. uh, and and you're uh and i'm just going to extend this conversation one one further you're a skier yes yes i'm a skier i so, love to ski so you know cameron pass well I know it okay. I'm going to get to know it a lot more well this winter because I didn't buy a ski pass. I vowed myself to uh, not waiting in the awful lines of traffic and lift lines. I just feel like a jackass doing that. And really, I just want to be in the mountains. So I'm going to be taking this road up to the mountains uh, a lot, hopefully. Yeah, yeah. And this road, like, to be honest, uh, when it comes to this road, we're on Highway 14. Now, it's not I-70. You're not going to run in that traffic, no. but it could be a four-hour drive to the top with the weather. <laughs> it's it all good, though, man. I'd rather have a four-hour drive of, like, solitude than a uh, four-hour drive of traffic. You know yeah. what I mean? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, um, okay. So, the goal what we're doing here today is to record some music give michael kirkpatrick a little bit of firepower in the time that he is creating his solo artworks right now and so uh, we're going to head into a song as we drive up the canyon here we are we're going to start off with your very first song ever live of the beehive and the beehive bandwagon uh, where are we headed this is uh i am so stimulated right now by the passing scenery by the river that I worked on for 15 years <laughs> as a guide and uh, by the, the the windy highway in the back of the van. Um, it's a good thing I don't have motion sickness or else I probably would have puked by now. <laughs> <laughs> but I love, this is awesome, man. This is, I love this, this is awesome. I love it. So um, I'm gonna start off with a song that's sort of like a, an invocation for escape, um, welcoming you to a world that is different from what you're used to. This is called Awayo. Walk through the door, the world shines differently. It's a place you've never been and a heart you've never known. You know the names. 
You might think familiar things, but it doesn't really matter. It's just the way it makes you feel. Away, oh, away, oh, away, oh, away. Painting your room the color of the dream. There's nothing you can hide behind something you can't see. Taking a stroll. The snowy streets are empty The guards are all asleep And you're free to go Away 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 There's no time To pack your car Friend of mine, are you surprised? There's no line to wait in this bar. So why are you waiting there outside? If I were you, I'd give me a kiss and say goodbye to all the things you think you'll miss. Never mind, there's nothing more than this.